Welcome back. We want to take a moment to talk about violence in South Bend. We know it's been an almost weekly occurrence, or at least so it seems, mm -hmm. where we're talking about someone who's been shot in our city, and it seems the ages are getting younger and younger. So why is this happening, and what aren't we doing at home or in the community to help curb these numbers. Well, joining us now, two wise South Bend natives with some perspective. Uh, how we got Gladys Muhammad here. We've got um, Lynn Coleman there. Thank you both for being here. We really appreciate you taking the time. I know it was, it was something I felt we needed to talk about and add some perspective to both spiritually, but also you guys are around it every single day. Lynn, I'll start yeah. with you. Just, this year has been different. I know we're not where we were last year with the number of shootings. We're lower than that, but it just feels different. And me coming back here from Colorado just feels like there's just a lot going on, a lot happening in our streets. Unfortunately, you're right. Uh, and we talk about numbers, and I, I try to stay away from stats um, because stats don't mean a whole lot when you call a parent or uh, a sibling or a loved one and tell them that their brother, their son, their daughter, their child has just been shot and or killed um, by some act of violence. It doesn't matter about the other 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 that's become victim to that. That one is the one that's important. Uh, and we've got to figure out a way as a community, as a society, to try to find a way to, to deal with that, to, to stop it. Yeah, and Gladys, more and more young kids are being shot. I know in our newscasts, we've had quite yeah. a bit of yeah. juveniles getting killed. When you hear that, and you talk it, to these family members. It, 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 it concerns me because you're right. They're younger and you're younger. And you're trying to figure out why is all these young people getting guns? Where are they getting it from? Mm. Where are the parents? Mm -hmm. Where are the people in the community that could try to help the situation not be? Yeah. And they're, and many, they're victims too. Yeah. They're victims or somebody, maybe they're trying to shoot someone else and they end up shooting a, a young person out there. In our community, we should be concerned and we should be trying to think of ways to combat and to prevent that violence happening in our community. There are a lot of people who are watching our shows all the time. They say, well, that's South Bend, it happens. Oh, that's the West Side, oh, this, that's the Southeast Side. But it's, it's more than that, it's deeper than that. You talk about it so often that if you love and respect yourself, you wouldn't do this mm -hmm. in the first place. Is that where it really starts, just at the home and learning about what love really is? Oh, I believe so. I, I believe that when we begin to start loving each other as human beings, and not all the stuff that divide us, mm -hmm. uh, respecting each other, uh, we fix a lot of the problems. I tell people all the time that you don't intentionally go out and try to hurt somebody that you respect and care about. Um, and so, but that has to be taught. And not only does it have to be taught, but it has to be demonstrated. People have to see uh, what, what love really means. Good morning, thank you, excuse me, I'm sorry, I apologize, forgive me. We don't get that kind of stuff. We get, it's more, you know, that you stepped on my toe. It's and, combative, right? Yeah, and you know, who's the baddest, who's the best, who's the biggest? You know, uh, uh, and now the whole issue with, with guns, uh, and I know that's a no-no, but you know, that's a, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you can, at 18 years old, uh, walk the streets in Indiana carrying a gun, uh, and not have license to do that and not need them. But if you go and get in a car to drive a car, you gotta have a driver's license to be able to drive a car. A permit and everything else. I'd rather be hit by a car than shot by an AK-47. Right, right. Okay. And it's wild because we're talking about such a big issue, but you're mentioning such little things that can make a difference. Absolutely. Manners, love, Absolutely. right? Little changes in behavior mm -hmm. that huge. can truly make a difference it's in huge. the outside. You, you both were mm -hmm. are part of the GVI. For those who don't mm -hmm. know, can you talk about what GVI is and, and the symbolism behind it, the purpose behind it here? Okay. The, the group violence intervention program, that's what it means, mm -hmm. and it, it, it brings together uh, police, different in, uh, entities in the community, citizens, um, police organizations coming together to discuss gun violence in our community, and it's don't shoot. Mm -hmm. And you look at most of the individuals who are, may shoot or who may get shot, mm -hmm. and we come up with strategies to prevent that, and we have a program, we call it a call-in. But for me, the GVI brings all of these entities together in this community as a collective group of people to look at gun violence so that we work with law enforcement and with the citizens. And so it's not do going on in a vacuum, in a void, trying to come up with solutions that we work these solutions out together. I've been mm -hmm. to one of those call-ins a few years ago with no mm -hmm. cameras there just to listen and watch. 
And it is one of the most powerful settings when wow. you see law enforcement on one mm -hmm. side and members of our community on the other about solutions, what we need to do. And I guess that's where we can wrap this up here is mm -hmm. talking about this, uh, the reasons why it will take us all day. What can we do now? What can I do? What can people at home do? What can we do? I know it's not a simple yeah. answer. I, I, I think, and you're right, it's not a simple answer, but I think accountability is, is yeah. huge. We have to make people accountable. Uh, when we're dealing with kids, we have to make sure that we teach them the things that yeah. you just talked about, yeah. the, the simple things. Mm -hmm. Not only do we have to teach them, but we have to show them mm -hmm. uh, that we have to demonstrate, we have to live the message that we talk about. Uh, and then we have to hold people accountable. And you know, I, I, I was talking to a young man one day and he told me he didn't ask to be born. And I said to him, nobody wow. did, we're wow. all here. And as long as we're here, then you, you, you have a right to life mm -hmm. and you have a right to live your life, the best life that you can live. And that's what we talked about because he said, Ms. Muhammad, I said, Why, what you doing with a gun? Why you got a gun? Well, he said, everybody got a gun. That's what he said to me. And then he said, and uh, some of them are afraid. So they got a gun, so they are afraid. But they have to learn to respect life and have a reason to live. Right. They have to have that reason and that value of oneself as a human being. Mm -hmm. As Lynn said earlier, respect yourself. And I think that's missing. The right. value that some people have as a human being living in, in America, in your city, and being responsible for the neighborhood that you live in. And they have to take that responsibility and move ahead and live life and don't allow life to live you. And a lot of our wow. young people are just here. Right. They, they feel they have no value. Mm -hmm. They feel that they can't move ahead, but they can move ahead. And there are citizens out there in agencies that will help them move ahead. Yeah. And they got a right to life. Man, that's, that's powerful. Both of you yeah. all, we are mm -hmm. so appreciative of your perspective your experience in working in these streets every single day and everything that you guys do, we thank you. We really, yeah. really do. It's we, making a difference. It, it is. is. It really is making it. We talk about love. He always picks on me, though. I don't know. He talks about <laughs> love, and then he always hits me and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. That's, Anyways. That's my love. Yeah. <laughs> we, we care. Yeah, we I gotta do. got to have that care and concern for other yes. human beings other than yourself. Yes, you do. And other people. And you got to be involved in that. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate you, yeah. both. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for being thanks. here. We're going to have this full interview. I know a lot of people are going to be talking about this one for the... At the the dinner table to be yeah. on WNDU.com. All right, Thank we'll be right back. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Thanks for having us. Yeah.